Every Christmas, it's been our tradition to make homemade marshmallows. And today, I wanted to share a video tutorial so that you too can make them at home. I promise, they are so much better than the store-bought ones. The first thing that you want to do is add your ice-cold water to your KitchenAid mixer and just empty the contents of your gelatin. And you're going to let this sit for a while as you work on your sugar mixture. Under medium heat on your stove pot, you're going to add your sugar and salt, ice cold water, and corn syrup. Cover your pot, and once it starts to simmer, you want to uncover it and place your candy thermometer in. You're going to simmer until it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit, turn off the heat and pour the sugar content into your KitchenAid mixture where the gelatin is. You want to put it on the high setting and mix it continuously for about 12 to 13 minutes. It's going to look really nice and fluffy. Look at that gooey, yummy goodness. And that's when you're going to add your vanilla extract and mix it again on high for a couple of minutes. In a 9 by 13 size pan, you want to line it with a clear wrap and use oil spray and spray it generously all over the wrap. And this is when you want to mix the cornstarch and powdered sugar and you want to place it all over the pan before you add your marshmallow goodness. When you do this, it's going to ensure that the marshmallow comes out in one big block instead of sticking to the pan. Once you've put the marshmallow in the baking dish, you want to add more of that sugar mixture and cornstarch powder on top and generously just put a layer of that. You want this to sit for about four hours at least or even overnight. Now it's time to cut your marshmallows. So take your time because they are really, really sticky and cut them to however big or small you want them. Once they're cut into blocks, put them inside the cornstarch and sugar mixture this will ensure that they have smooth sides. The last thing that you want to do is take some more of that mixture and just give it a nice powdered finish on top of the marshmallows. It's pretty and delicious. Now it's ready to eat. 